Here we show how we've implemented the RK4 method in Python. Uh, this is my version of the spider interface. And what we can see that I have got two things open. And the important one is an editor window on RK4.py and a console window, which actually may well come in handy later on. Uh, they're laid out in a slightly, slightly weird way mainly because I have not yet figured out how to reset what I've just broken. Okay, let's look at what this code actually does. In the first line, we import two different things. The first one is NumPy, numerical Python, which is clearly used quite often in scientific computing. The other one is PyPlot, which is an of matplotlib, as, and we import both of those S and P or SPLT, so we can call these in a shorter way. Then in line 7, we actually declare omega squared. Omega squared is just essentially what it says, is the square of the frequency for the harmonic oscillator, which is a parameter we do. Then we define two functions. The first is a derivative function, which takes an npy numerical python array y as argument and a double variable t. Actually, t is ignored in this case, and what it does, it calculates the derivative. So if y contains x and v, then what, it, what, the, what we clearly do know is that x, the derivative of x is v, which is what the first statement says, and the second derivative says the derivative of v is the acceleration, which is minus omega squared times x, which was the second element says. So that's why we do it that way. Then the next nine lines or so define the RK4 method, which takes a variable y, takes a function dy, as we see below, and it takes the variables t and h, where t is the time and h is the step size in time. And it then does exactly what the RK4 method is supposed to do in four steps, k1, k2, k3, k4. You've seen this before, and it does the standard calculation where we calculate y by incrementing it in a sensible way. We also increment t, and then we return the pair t and y, because that's the most useful thing to do. So after having defined the two basic functions, and as you can see, these functions would work for two coupled equations like over here, but it would also work for 10 or for 5,000 coupled equations. They look completely the same. The RK4 method doesn't change. The only thing that changes is the derivative function. So let's look at what next we need to do. We need some initial values. The initial values are 0 for x in this case and 0 0.2 for the velocity. So that's why we, what we initialize y2. Then t is actually equal to 0, because we start at time t equals 0, for convenience. The step size h is 0.01, and we define two arrays, one that's going to store all the t's, and at the moment only scores one t, one that will store, store all the y's as rows, and essentially it only contains one row at the moment. Then, for convenience, we take 2,000 steps. We could have taken 20,000, we could take 200,000, if you actually do 200,000 in Python and you use Python 2 point something like I'm doing over here, you probably would have wanted to change the range to x range, which is a more efficient thing to do for Python 2. For Python 3, it makes no difference. Then we extract t and y from having taken the step, so that updates t and y, and we append the t to the list of t's, and we concatenate y to the list of y's. The concatenation really means that y will have rows of each length 2, so y will be a 2 by n, an n by 2 array, so 2 columns. And essentially what we can then do after we've done it, we can extract the 2 columns as 2 rows by transposing y, and then we can do some plots. We can plot t versus y1, so that's t versus x, t versus y2, t versus d by dt of x, and we can also plot y1 as a function of y2. So if we run this code, the result is the following. So make this a little bit bigger. If I can find the right one to do that for. So let's just 
move the IPython console and what we can see happening over there so this is blue is actually x green is dx by dt and what we can clearly see that those are 90 degrees out of phase as we expect for the harmonic oscillator we also see that if I drawn this to scale which I haven't done in this case this actually runs the x and dt by dx actually are on a circle which is exactly what we expected so we are, we are happy bunnies we've done exactly what we wanted to do and we now have the result we want